Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're looking into a guide to growing mushrooms for beginners. Specifically, we want to explore some strains that are good for folks just starting out. Exactly. We'll touch on why they're considered beginner friendly, uh, maybe some unique things about them, and a bit of their background. Sounds good. The idea is to give you, the listener, a better sense of accessible starting points if you're curious about mycology. Right. So where should we begin? Golden Teacher seems like a natural first stop. Yeah, the guide mentions it popped up in high times, July 1991. Stephen Woodbury placed some classified ads. Why did it become so popular so fast? Well, it's mostly down to its growth. It's pretty aggressive, uh, quite reliable. Mm -hmm. So for beginners, your chances of success are just, you know, higher compared to some trickier ones. Okay. Makes sense. Consistency helps build confidence early on. Definitely. And that consistency apparently carries over to its effects, too, making it a kind of trusted entry point for many. The guide also highlights it grows faster and easier than, say, penis envy or stargazer. That's right. Speed and ease are big factors when you're learning. So if you want results without, like, a huge amount of hassle, Golden Teacher sounds promising. Absolutely. And while the guide notes that telling psilocybin cubensis strains apart just by looking is well, nearly impossible. That quicker maturation time can be a practical clue for the cultivator. Gotcha. Okay, let's switch gears to Blue Mini. Mm -hmm. The guide points out a potential confusion here. Yes, it does. It's important to distinguish this Psilocybe cubensis Blue Mini from Pinella cyanescens, which often goes by the same name and is uh, generally much more potent. Right, so this cubensis version, the guide says it was brought to market by someone called the Keeper and supposedly found in Australia. That's the story mentioned, yes. What's interesting for cultivators is the potency range noted in the guide. It lists it from 0.37% up to 1.3% active psilocybin compounds. Okay, and how does that compare? Well, the guide suggests Golden Teacher usually tests under 1%. So Blue Mini might pack a bit more punch, potentially. Interesting. Okay, next up, Malabar. From the Malabar coast of India, subtropical origin, it mentions large cap. Yeah, large caps are characteristic. But there's also a fascinating historical angle. The guide mentions it might be connected to the Soma from the Vedas, the legendary food of the gods. Wow. Okay, that adds some mystique from a practical standpoint for beginners. Very practical, actually. It's known for dropping really heavy spore prints. Great, if you want to propagate more later. Yes. And crucially, it's described as growing aggressively and being quite resistant to contamination. Big advantages when you're starting out. Right, resilience is key. Okay, how about Inca Stargazer, a land race strain from the Andes? Yeah, a land race, meaning it adapted naturally to that high altitude environment. Historically, the guide notes it's used by the Inca, potentially for spiritual communication or preparing warriors. And characteristics, anything notable for a grower? The guide highlights deep indigo blue bruising inside the stem. That's often seen as an indicator of um, higher potency. It apparently produces smaller mushrooms, smaller fruiting bodies, but offers a distinct experience. Okay. Smaller but potent, perhaps. And finally, the famously named Penis Envy. Ah, uh, yes. Richard G. coined the term in the late 80s, according to the guide. Named for its, well, obvious shape and tendency for blue bruising. Isolated from Amazonian psilocybe cubensis, what's the verdict for beginners? It's definitely prized for size and potency, but uh, the guide is clear it's generally slower growing. It needs more consistent conditions than something like Golden Teacher. So doable for a beginner, but maybe not the easiest first choice? Pretty much. You can grow it, but you need to be diligent with maintaining steady conditions. The guide warns about mutations, like blobs, if temperatures aren't quite right, especially too low. Okay, that's really helpful context. So wrapping up based on the guide's insights, it sounds like Golden Teacher and Malabar are really strong contenders for a first grow. Ease, resilience. Exactly. They seem like excellent choices to get your feet wet and build some confidence. Very forgiving. And then maybe for someone feeling a bit more adventurous or after a successful first run? Then Blue Meanie, Inca Stargazer, or even Penis Envy could be interesting next steps. They just yeah. require a bit more... Um, attention to detail. Right. It really is fascinating how diverse these strains are, even the ones considered accessible. Different histories, different growth habits. It definitely makes you think. Considering all this variety just among these few strains, what else might be out there? And what might the future hold for cultivation and our understanding? A great question to ponder. 